Hi, welcome, I'm Micah, and my videos do focus on black women and people on the dark skin spectrum. But today, I'll be talking about the light seasons, so obviously, this video will feature people on the lighter side on that scale. So, here's my playlist with my other videos on the color seasons. There are other six seasons that you might want to look into. If you have already seen them, then you know that there are four types of countries. The high contrast types are clear or bright, and then you have deep or dark. The low contrast types are soft or muted, and then you also have light. I already talked about the clear, dark, and soft seasons. The only seasons missing are light spring and light summer. This is the last season that I'm talking about because it's the rarest among darker people. Now, when I say darker, I just don't mean deep dark skin. There are lighter people in the dark skin spectrum as well. I would say that the light types are like a clear and muted hybrid. What does that mean? In the case of light springs, they are not as bright as a clear spring, so the colors of a clear spring will be way too bright for a light spring. Light springs also have a low contrast level, but their features are a bit more saturated than a soft autumn. And in the case of light summers, they are not as muted as a soft summer, but definitely not as bright as a clear winter, keeping in mind that light summers have a lower color tolerance than light springs because they are cool. And summers overall have the lowest saturation level out of all of the seasons. Something that I might say in all of my videos on color, but I say it because it's important. The darker and warmer you are, the more colors you're able to handle. If we end up setting a scale, it would be something like this. When it comes to contrast types, clear types are the ones that can handle the most colors. Then you have dark types, then you have light types, and finally you have soft types. And when it comes to seasons, then it would be springs, winters, autumns, and finally summers. Anyway, let's take a look at the seasonal color wheel. Light springs belong to the spring family, which is brighter, and light summers belong to the summer family, which is more muted. Now we can talk about the characteristics and the color dimensions of the light types. Skin, it's in the name, light seasons, this will be people that are on the lighter side of the dark skin spectrum. However, I am not saying that it is impossible for someone darker to be a light type, but it will be very rare and we'll talk about that in the light season examples. The thing is that the determining factor of a light type is basically that dark colors are a no-no. And what we're trying to do with a color analysis is to mimic the features of the person. So, when you have darker features, you will be able to handle darker colors, but a pure light spring or light summer will not be able to wear those colors. Another thing about the skin of the light seasons is that they will tend to have a more neutral undertone that can lean towards the cool side or the warm side. Eyes. They will have lighter eyes. Now, that doesn't mean that they will always have light blue eyes or light green eyes. Ethnic light types can have darker eyes. They probably won't have black brown eyes, but having like a medium brown tone is something that you might be able to find. So having brown eyes won't automatically discard this season for you. But it does mean that your colors will be darker than the colors of a traditional light spring or light summer. Hair. They can have almost any hair color besides very dark hair that looks almost black. And if they do, it will be more like a soft off black than a worn be. Let's talk about the light spring color palette. This palette is colorful but also gentle. Picture making the colors of the clear spring palette softer and a little bit lighter. 
Not super light in the case of ethnic light springs that have darker features. In order to have colors that match your natural coloring, you need to look at the three main aspects. Temperature, value, and chroma. Hue and temperature. The temperature of their colors will range from warm to neutral warm, depending on their undertone and how warm the features are. These colors won't usually be super warm because most light types tend to be a bit more neutral and that makes them able to wear both warm and cool colors. Value Value refers to how light or dark a color will be. Their main color dimension is light, so their colors will have a light value level. Sometimes value is also referred as luminosity. That is an easy way to remember it. Light types will wear luminous hues. Chroma Chroma refers to how bright or muted your colors will be. As springs, their colors will have a higher saturation level, but that saturation level won't be as high as a clear spring. It is more of a medium-high chroma level. Basically, light springs will look their best in colors that are bright enough to make their features pop, but not so bright that they end up getting upstaged by them. Their colors will be lighter, but light springs with darker features will be able to handle some darker colors. Most likely, those dark colors will come from the clear spring palette, but not always. If this is your type, you should stay away from cool and dark colors. That would mean that your opposite palette is the dark winter palette. However, that does not mean that all dark winter colors will look bad on you but you shouldn't wear a lot of them because then they will upstage you. If you are one of those people that feels like wearing black is way too much, you might be a light spring. Now let's talk about their cool counterpart, the light summer color palette. Just like light springs, their palette is colorful but gentle. Picture making the colors in the soft summer palette a bit brighter. They are still going to be soft and actually they are softer than the ones in the light spring palette but they will be more saturated than the ones in the soft summer palette. Just to refresh the information, in order to have colors that match your natural coloring, we need to pay attention to the color dimensions of those colors. First we have hue and temperature, hue being the color itself and temperature being how cool or warm that color is. The temperature of their colors will range from cool to neutral cool depending on their undertone and how cool their features are. They won't usually be super cool because most light types tend to be a bit more neutral, being able to wear both warm and cool colors. Then we have value. Their main color dimension is light, so their colors will have a light value level. Again, we can remember it by saying light summers will look good in cool, luminous hues. And then we have chroma. They will have a medium chroma level. They are a summer and summers have a lower saturation level. Light summers need colors that are a bit brighter than the colors for a soft summer, but since they are still a summer, they are not going to be as bright as a light spring and certainly not as high as a clear winter. The summary would be that light summers will look their best in colors that are not too muted nor too bright. Those would be gentle hues that still add a pop of color to their features without overpowering them. They will be lighter, but a light summer with darker features will be able to handle some darker colors. If this is your type, you should stay away from warm and dark colors. That would mean that your opposite palette is the dark autumn palette. That does not mean that all of the dark autumn colors will look bad, but you shouldn't wear a lot of them in the same outfit, especially the very dark ones, because they will upstage you especially as a summer. This is the rarest type among people on the dark skin spectrum, not just because it is a light type, but because it is also a cool season. 
that would be it for today. If you have any questions about the light types, please leave them in the comments because the Q&A is coming soon. And if you want to see examples of the light types, that's the video that I will be uploading next. So do subscribe if you liked it. If you feel like finding your color season has been very hard and you need a bit more help, you can hire me as your stylist at gokostyling.com and also go to my blog michaelumstand.com for more resources. Have a nice day and I do hope to see you next week.